All right, today we're going to be talking about Elestial Quartz, otherwise called Skeletal Quartz. And I think you could kind of see why it would be called Skeletal, because in a way it looks like skeleton-like, I guess. <laughs> but um, Elestial Quartz is, this is it here, and it's kind of like a smoky quartz and it's got just layers of all kinds of geometric patterns in it um just grids lines everything you can imagine all this crazy stuff going on in it and i have a bunch of different celestial quartz and of course i can only find two specimens and one of them I have is monstrous. So there's no way I could use that as an example. But this is a good example of it. Elestial Quartz is definitely one of the higher vibrational crystals you can get. Um, and especially in terms of a more readily available crystal where you could get it from a crystal shop or online. Um, skeletal quartz is pretty easy to find. Um, not the cheapest. It is a little pricey, even for smaller specimens, but kind of like you get what you pay for. Um, Elestial quartz, you're definitely going to want some of this in your collection to work with. Um, I would highly recommend it. This is something that should be on your top of your list in terms of working with crystals, Elestial Quartz. I, I try to give you guys a lot of crystals that are easier to work with, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go through every crystal imaginable, every minimal, mineral specimen, everything. So Elestial Quartz is super high vibrational. And in terms of a crystal that's going to give you some effects and... Here's the thing. A lot of crystals you work with, let's say you're working with green aventurine, um, carnelian, stuff like that. You're not going to be like, a lot of people think you're going to be, you know, take up a crystal and turn into Thanos and be, have this superpowers. And it doesn't exactly work like that. When you work, when you're working with crystals, you're working with more subtle energies, subtle energies take time to work. You're going to have to work with them. You're going to have to spend some time with them and you're going to have to acclimate to them in a way, kind of like you're taking medicine in a way. You're not going to just pop one pill and everything, whether you're treating physical ailments, emotional ailments, whatever the case may be, you're not going to be better overnight. And a lot of times people pick up a crystal and, oh, I don't feel nothing. <laughs> and of course you're not going to just immediately, you got to work with this stuff. You got to take time. Now, Elestral Quartz, you could kind of fast track and jump ahead a little bit because you are going to feel effects from Elestral Quartz. Now, this is a quartz, so you're going to definitely want to cleanse this. Um, as I talked about in other videos, and I will have other videos about cleansing crystals, activating and charging them. Um, this is something, whenever you see crystals which are clear, and this is a quartz, so obviously it's a clear crystal. You're going to want to definitely release all the, the stuff that's stuck on this. Um, quartz is famous for picking up energies. It could pick up emotions and hold it in there. It could trap a lot of that past energy that other people that have used them. So you're going to want to... Definitely cleanse your crystals, your quart, your electrical quartz, before you really delve into using it. And I would charge this as well. And again, I'm going to have videos on all that stuff. It's nothing crazy. It's easy to do. And I'm going to make it simple for you guys. So electrical quartz, let's say you get yourself a nice specimen like this. Let me show you one more here. You pick up your nice specimen. Here's another one I have. Another beauty. And you want to work with it. You, you, you want to work with Elestial Quartz. First of all, what is Elestial Quartz going to do 
for you. Celestial Quartz is a strong crystal. And it's a crystal that's all about the divine. It's all about the universe. It's all about connecting to the universe. It's all about getting, pulling in all that prana, that chi, that universal energy that's fed into your energy body. Even though you don't know it's there, it's always coming in. Coming in and going out. And this will help bring even more of that prana, chi, whatever you want to call it, that universal energy, this is going to make your energy body sing in all that energy. It's going to just pull it in. It's like lightning in a crystal. It, it, it's definitely one of the stronger crystals you could use and something that if you work with, you will have experiences with it 100%. So this is quartz so you can also program quartz that's a whole other topic but if you program an celestial to do a specific thing look out it's like quartz on steroids but again i'm going to just touch upon the crystal itself kind of go over it and a lot of those other deeper things like programming crystals and all that i could do that in separate videos so this, what are we going to use Electro Quartz for? Now, I've had other videos on um, all different types of stones, but one of them I think I did was Lepidolite. And Lepidolite is a good stone when you're uh, stuck in that rut, you're, you're all that stagnant energy, and you kind of it kind of busts it away from your energy body. Guess what? Here's another one. And this one's even more effective than Lepidolite. Lepidolite's a more gentle um, approach to it. It's a little different. Elestral quartz is like taking your, uh, oh, how, what, what can I use? It's like using one of those um, Ghostbuster backpack things with the plasma shooter. <laughs> Just blasting off the, the, uh, the crud away from you. This can definitely break up any type of blocked energy deeper than than a lepidolite can get to this can get deep into the energy body and like a lightning bolt just blast it away and the cool part about electrical quartz is it brings in that prana that chi that universal energy and it could fill your your chakras fill your energy energy body with that divine cosmic energy which is always there whether you believe it or not it's there and this will amplify it it will bring it in it will help dissolve all that bad stagnant energy and it will fill all those little gaps and holes and heal all that which in turn when you heal your energy body you essentially can heal pretty much any illness because it's going to soak in and your energy body first thing like when you when you're when you have a type of disease or you have some type of um any type of issue the underlying cause and again i have to say like you know of course don't use this <laughs> take this like don't not go to a doctor and just use quartz crystals but i'm i'm saying if you work with them enough you're going to treat the underlying issue by filling in all those holes and gaps and all that damage caused by the actual illness. It could be because your energy body has rips, tears, who, who knows, any type of traumatic events, all that kind of stuff does damage and it could be easily repaired, but you got to use the right tool to repair it. And when you repair your energy body, guess what? Your illness goes away, whatever the underlying cause, whatever it is. Elestial quartz is great because it works with everything. It doesn't work with just your crown chakra or your um, third eye chakra or anything like that. It works with every chakra. It works with your entire energy body. From head to toe, everywhere, this crystal will work and infuse you with that 
powerful universal energy connect you with the universe. And one thing I would like to state, I wouldn't recommend sleeping with this. You will get vivid dreams because what's going to happen is it's going to, it's going to pull all that universal chi, that energy in. And a lot of times it, it'll saturate those chakras to the point where a lot of that energy has to go somewhere. So you might be overstimulated. If anything, you might not be able to sleep. Um, it might keep you up at night. Um, yes, you might have some experiences with it during, uh, the middle of the night or whatever, but I wouldn't recommend sleeping with celestial quartz. Um, just use it as you need it type of thing, but it's a powerful crystal and it's a great crystal that will get rid of all that stagnation and help repair all that, any kind of damage to the energy body. And that will in turn trickle down and symptoms of whatever you got going on starts to go away. So the other thing that is great about electro quartz, and I want to specify this because I have my own personal story with it. Using electro quartz can help you conquer whatever fear you got. Now, most of the time, when you're conquering fears in the metaphysical world, it's not like you're taking this into a haunted house and, you know, doing it that way, conquering a fear that way. But here's a good example. When I was growing up, when I was young, I was able to astral project uh, pretty easily. And once I started figuring out like what is going on, what is happening, and I'm starting to read books and I'm starting to figure out um, what actually is going on. I, I didn't know when I was a kid what astral projection was. I'd have these experiences and didn't know what was going on. Nobody can answer questions for me. And I started getting scared. And I carried that fear where, man, I don't want to be sucked out of my body and what's going to happen to me? Where am I going to go? And your mind races. This is the crystal that helped me get over all that fear, get over that anxiety by using this and working with this crystal, meditating with it. And even when I applied it to astral projection, lucid dreaming, that type of stuff, it helped me get over that fear, over those hurdles where, oh boy, I'm scared. What's going to happen to me? Where am I going to go? Am I going to go to some dark dimension like in Dr. Strange and be terrified? And, you know, you, it's, it's tough because the fear of the unknown is, it's a pretty scary fear. But Elestral Quartz, highly recommend. It will get you over fears like that. And it's a perfect, perfect crystal to work with. Experience all that energy. It's like a conduit for the universal energy. And when you connect to this, whoo, you'll know it. And you can feel it for sure. So this is something that I use quite a bit and I would highly recommend getting some electrical quartz and working with it on a regular basis and you will see some pretty cool and pretty awesome uh, differences in whatever you're trying to accomplish so that's the scoop on electrical quartz also called skeletal quartz and like I said I have more specimens of this but I have so much stuff it's scattered all over my house but the one specimen I would need I mean, the thing must be a foot and a half tall by a foot wide, something like, I mean, it's massive. I, um, maybe I'll take a picture of it and kind of toss it in with the video segment at the end. And, uh, just so you guys can see it, it is a beast of, of a specimen, super, super heavy. Um, but yeah, let's hear, um, any of you guys, uh, any of your experiences with with electrical quartz, I'd love to hear about it um, in the comments and stuff. So that's another one, electrical quartz. It's like just power and lightning infused right within quartz. And it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful.